Hi YouTube, it's me Tifo Wilderness, welcome to my channel and welcome to the first of this month's unboxing videos. Yes, uh, I'm filming this on uh, Friday the 2nd of September and a rather large package has just arrived from Hasbro Pulse. Yes, now going back to what I said in my end of month bot haul video a couple of days ago, um, well, no, on the, uh, the, the, well, yeah, on the first, because obviously my end of month bot haul didn't quite make it out for the last day of August, so I had to, I had to you, know, you know, upload it on the, you know, the 1st of September. Anyway, I said that thing about there were certain figures that I'd pre-ordered from Hasbro Pulse that I saw people for, that were for sale at TF Nation and people were walking around with on the bar on Saturday night and it made me feel a little tinge of jealousy. Well, uh, one of the figures that I that was part of that was the um, the uh, Studio Series RC, which I got the back in the last month, and the other one was this figure. Now, again, after TF Nation, I got a notification from Hasbro Pulse to say that you know they were, were expecting it in earlier than expected. Then I got a notification to say that uh, you know your package has left the building, but I didn't receive any shipping notifications until today, really to say that the, the parcel was on its way. So this afternoon I was um, you know, just in, got home from work, knock on the door, courier of a big package. And here it is. Now, as you can see, it's, it's a Hasbro Pulse box with the Pulse logo on it. Not seen these for a while. Um, when we first, or when I first started getting uh, packages from Hasbro Pulse, they always came in Pulse branded boxes. But uh, they soon used those up and just started sending stuff out in just plain brown boxes. But they seem to have got some more Pulse boxes back in stock. So, anyway, as you can see it's quite large. I wonder what it is. So let's get into it, shall we? Again, it's like I said, it was one of those things that was on sale at TF Nation. I saw people buying it, you know, parading it around in the uh, in the bar on Saturday night, and it just, just made me think, they've got theirs, where's mine, you know? And it's like, so yeah, it's finally come out. It was supposed to come out in January. I think they was, the Hasbro Pulse originally said that it was gonna get released, which is quite frankly ridiculous. But anyway, okay, lots and lots of bubble packaging. Let's turn it round so it's the uh, the right way. Right, what's in the box, wilderness? Transformers, GI Joe crossover. Megatron his tank yes now this is supposed to oh, it's still up the tape but uh, yeah like I said this thing was available at TF Nation saw people getting it messing around with it and it, you know I knew I'd pre-ordered mine from Hasbro Pulse but Hasbro Pulse told me oh that's not coming out till January yeah so yeah um I kind of wanted to get this because well you know I like G1 Megatron Especially when he turns into a gun, but uh, you know, the, even when he doesn't turn into a gun, you know, I kind of like his aesthetic, and uh, it turns into a his tank. You know, not that I've got a thing for you know GI Joe or Action Force. Well, oh, it, it, if I was going to go for anything, it'd be like the, the the British version of GI Joe, which was Action Force. But um, anyway, so it's good. I've also pre-ordered that um, the uh, the the Bumblebee. AWE Striker as well. I've, I've pre-ordered that, but mainly because it transforms into an off-road buggy more than the fact that it's it's a, a, a transformer, a bumblebee. But yeah, so this is cool, and it obviously it comes with a a little three and a half inch figure of uh, of um, the Baroness who can actually fit inside it. Yeah, um, I wanted to get in on this. 90 quid though, it's a lot of money, um, and I know from you know, looking at uh, videos and pictures, it's, it's got a lot of hollowness, this thing, and I think in the tank mode, Megatron's head is like poking out the bottom of the tank, or the back end of the tank, but uh, anyway, 
um, it's got this amazing sort of slidey box, box thing, so if we just cut the tape seals on it, as there is a lot of them, Okay. Oh, I see. It comes comes open onto the uh, the shipping crate. Oh well, never mind. I thought it was going to open out and, and show the figure. Anyway, okay, never mind. Still, it's pretty cool. And it's got that that sleeve thing. So yeah, got got me one of these. And uh, yeah, so that's the first item to be unboxed this month. Um, I am expecting, I, I placed an order with um, Kapow for, a, for a, a multitude of items. That package, they said they've already shipped it, but it hasn't arrived yet. So that might arrive in the next couple of days. So that should be the focus of the, the next unboxing video that I do next week. So without that said, um, the box is empty. I've been Too Far Wilderness, and I'll catch you all next time. Ta-da.